Hi, I'm Ken Brandt from the Robinson Planetarium and Science Center in Lumberton, North Carolina. And I have a face made for radio, which is why you know, we're in the dark here. Every rock hound or geologist has tools they use in the field when they're collecting minerals. One of them is this. It is a hand lens. That's a kind of fancy one for, there we go, our hand lens. Now the hand lens has a lens to magnify and if you're out hunting at night, you probably want an LED flashlight, a white one. And you know, you might want a different set of wavelengths, ultraviolet. Now, believe it or not, on the Mars hand lens instrument, or MOLLE, there is, imaging camera, um, there is a, of course, a magnifier, a hand lens, and white and ultraviolet LEDs to actually show off and find minerals at night. Now we have some samples down here and I'm going to point them out to you. I'm going to show each one in white light and then in fluorescent light. And We'll talk about why the fluorescents are important here. We're going to start with a piece of sodalite. Sorry about that flash. We're going to start with a piece of sodalite, this little guy right here. And you can see in white light looks pretty plain, right? Kind of an off blue color. Okay, I'm going to take the light off him a little bit so you can see a little better. Kind of a light blue color, pretty uniform. But when we look at the same rock under ultraviolet light, we'll notice a vein running very clearly right here that was invisible in regular light. This vein could be calcite, it could be gypsum, it could be any one of a number of things. It could be organic compounds, because organics fluoresce very nicely under ultraviolet light. When I say organics, I mean things like um, carbon and oil. If you spilled oil in the driveway, you can see where the oil spill is by putting an ultraviolet light on it. Okay, so that was the soda.